Welcome back. Now we'll take your questions. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at QuranSpeaks.com. So, Shabir, the question today is about epidural. And someone is asking, what is the Islamic point of view about using epidural? And they've heard people say it's haram. And also, if, um, if it's not haram, would it be considered a form of suicide if you were like, asked to take epidural, rather, or you didn't and you passed mm. away the process? Okay. The question brings back memories for me because I was only 20 when my first child was born, my oh, daughter. Wow. And I had to ask the same question of a scholar. And, and the answer is that there is nothing in the Islamic tradition that prevents us from, from making use of medicines uh, of in general and in this particular circumstance there's no harm in using some uh, medication epidural in this case uh, that will uh, relieve the pain I uh, guess of the mother mm -hmm. and child birth. what about in the situation where I guess if you refuse it and then the person saying you die in labor is that considered a form of suicide well, I mean, it, it is, no, it wouldn't be a form of suicide, uh, but one obviously should make use of the medication that is available, but some people may refuse it for some reasons that are best known to themselves. Maybe someone wants as natural a childbirth as possible. Uh, this is their, their choice, but obviously they'll have to weigh the, uh, the, the benefits, mm -hmm. the pros and cons. Uh, this question became uh, discussed in, in the realm of religion because uh, in the Middle Ages, some people thought that women had to bear children in child, uh, in, in pain uh, as a result of a curse that got put on them. But that's in another tradition. It's not in the Islamic tradition at all. Okay. So that was a, just an idea or a, a thought that was around at the time? Or? Well, yes. Uh, you know, it, it, it's mentioned in the book of Genesis that uh, God put a curse on the woman that you will bear children in, in pain. So some people thought if you try to relieve the pain, you're acting contrary to the, mm -hmm. to the will of God. But of course, that's not the Islamic story. No curse was put on Adam and Eve in the, in the Quran. In fact, they were forgiven after the initial uh, error that they committed. Thank you very much, Akshir. You're welcome. Hey YouTube, we hope you benefited from this video. If you liked it, or if you didn't, let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more, check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.